Hello, everyone. An RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the previous video, we played as Ogata, and now he's at 75. We learned a lot of shit about it. We learned who uh, holds the key. Just learned that sharing information might jeopardize Minami's safety, so that's good. That's good. And now we're going to learn how he got tied up in all this situation. So, it's time. Finally, we can play as Takatoshi Hijamiya. So let's do it. All right. Hijiyama. All righty. Looks like we're just on a straight path, which is totally fine to me. Because, oh, no, never mind. There's no scenes that were got added, so. So he was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. Yeah, he told you that twice. To, but if I help him. I can save our homeland from this war. This is it, all right. Though, it's a far cry from the school I remember. As in, it looks better? The fuck? These trees are blue. I never noticed that before. Let's sneak in. Now. I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. You're also wearing another school's uniform, I believe. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Mm-hmm. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? No oh, shit. It's strange to say, but it does make sense. I now, love how he like says forward even on doing this. Computers was so far beyond what we know. Remnants. It feels like just yesterday. I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. Keitaro? And now, oh, yeah. four Nira. decades have passed in a blink of an eye. Like a fairy tale. I want to see their meeting up again. We have not seen that yet. So that'll definitely be something to see. And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Mira's gone Why, again. Miss, you're... You're stunning. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... It was the day you came into my life. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san. I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. <laughs> nah. Um, no. Okay. I don't care. I... I... I said this before, and I'll say it again. There's 13 of these people. An odd number. And I believe there's one more guy than there are girls. So that means one guy would be left out if you're if we're doing matchmaker with all the characters. I've said my piece. Um, I've said you know what? Let's do this. Uh, mystery files. Okay. Juro with Megumi. I like that. Iori with I. I think that's a very strong one. Grenya Gota have no idea yet. Natsuno with Mira. Takatoshi? Not yet. No, yet. Nenji Ogata with Kisaragi. Shu with Yuki. Ryoko Shimimura? And there we are. Those are the three people that are like, man. Now, granted. Granted. Don't really have to match those three. Like, I guess... <laughs> Ryoka doesn't really have any chemistry with, um... 
I was about to say, I would pro like, I was going to say Takatoshi with Okino. I don't care. I think they're adorable. More so how he acts around him. But I, I don't know. He might have the same kind of feelings, but, um. But we also kind of see, like, a love triangle-ish, maybe. This is just how Iori is interpreting it between, uh, A and Ryoko. So that could be a love triangle situation. I haven't really seen Ryoko interact that much with, um, with Gota, so. I don't know. Is it strange that Gota is from 2065, and yet he is the oldest looking motherfucker in 2188, even though he should, he's technically the youngest out of all of these guys. Wow, that's another thing. He is from the furthest... Actually, is that also where I think he is from? Okay, so both I and Gotar are from the same year. But they're all... These two are older or younger than everyone, and yet they're this, at least he's the senpai. Which, granted, makes sense because... I mean, he's technically older, but he also knows more about the Sentinels than all of them, so... All right, what's up? You could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? Nope. Well, we'll end up trusting everything each other. About what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is. Are you even going to believe me? Nah, my question is, what's your name at this school? Could you be... Nah, you don't look anything like her, but could you actually be... Um... The character that the Tomo-san boat, boat bot is playing as? It's, um... Erika Aiba? Are you Erika Aiba? I've already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? Tell me. I'm trying to stop the apocalypse. Yeah, you and everyone else, apparently. Already on its way here to destroy the world. Yeah, you're trying to stop the apocalypse, and Jirokura is Izumi's trying to stop the apocalypse, but in order to stop the apocalypse, he has to stop you? I don't know. And they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. What are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? You know what? That is an excellent question. Why are they coming? That's something, well... The answer is in something called the decode. Let me try and break this down for you. Got that dick code. There are other humans with modifications, like you and Murakun. And they're beaming out these signals, calling the destroyers here. Even though they have no idea. Okay. How do I even respond to that? See? I knew you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> That's not what I said. I just don't know how to imagine the scale of this. An apocalypse? So the Sentinel's a weapon from... This other threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me. They're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. There's too many unknowns with the Inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. So there are other Sentinel pilots beyond Keitaro and I. A whole lot of them. 
Yeah. So this inner Lossiter? It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. Mm-hmm. So what do you want me to do now? Uh, when we get shot. Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. It'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. There'll be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. A few hours later. <sighs> Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Nope. Mm, Okie now. Still no sign of him. Yeah, yes, surprise! Uh, okay. They told me to wait until noon. But I can only waste time napping for so long. Noodles stir fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pond. It's my yakisoba pond. It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here. So I'm not supposed to go outside, but... But... I'm hungry. I want my yakisoba pond. I should remain here. You know, be a good little boy. Let's not go on an adventure. Let's just stay here forever for a good 25 minutes. And then maybe we'll go outside. Now we're going outside. There's nothing else to do here. Just want to do one more class. Look around. Come on, Takatoshi. You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. Don't tell me I what to do! Any longer. So basically... You mean... But then that means the dream is... Oh, hello. Really? Uh, huh? Do 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 do, just the walk in the by. A student's duty should be to focus so on their studies. You mean this kind of hanky panky has no place the here? This hanky panky. <sighs> Not that that girl wasn't so cute, I suppose, but you mean. Clearly, she has no eye for men. That means the dream is... Really? Uh... Huh? I'm messing with their kitties! <laughs> okay. They had an interaction, right? Did Takatoshi walk in on it? I don't remember. You know what? Oh. See if like anything got added. Okay, event. I, I, cause I remember them talking. But it was just them by themselves. Dream of summary. Oh right, it was the dream of the bridge. But there's nothing that happened beforehand. Hmm. Cause this is it goes from here to here, so. Oh, maybe it happened. Maybe this. Maybe it was. Maybe this happened before that scene. So that could be the case. So basically, you mean? But then that means the dream is really. So 
basically. What else was I, what else could I have done? Could I just stayed or something? So basically. But then that means the dream is. Really? Go to the break area. Doing one other thing? I don't have. I can't remember. There's the schoolyard. Nowhere else to go. It's not like that. It super is though. Oh, I so? think. Even Yori knows. Hmm. By the way, you know Ninji Kun? He got a letter asking to see him after school. What, for a sunset showdown? That's so old school. No, no, it was a love letter. Oh, this stuff again? You sure love your romance gossip. It's not like that. It super is, though. You think so? Even Yori knows. Aw, he's so cute. Did you see him? That boy was so cool. Ah! Was he? Does he even go to our school, though? <laughs> he's oh, blushing. Please. That was adorable, Miwa Chan. Aw. There. That has to be. It's not, though. <sighs> I can't let myself get spotted now. Okina would probably never let me hear the end of it. <sighs> oh, okay, so I just it was just both of these I would lead to the same same Okina. spot. Okay. It would just both lead to the same spot, okay. Uh I guess the break area again. Because now he's probably there. No. The walkway, I guess. <sighs> That's. Zamira? I oh, know, so got it. One. Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even here it is. Here it is. This is us getting you him. The letter in my shoe locker, right? Yes. Shit, she's cute. Okay, so uh, what's this about? Um, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kisaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. Oh my god. What? No! Oh no! <laughs> so, okay. So all this ha- trying to think of this of scenes so I know this all happens after Natsuno's thing and this happens before I Seki Gahara because this happens after Nenji's stuff which was around the 70s spot right oh wait hold on a second Oh, we've already saw all this stuff, okay. So that all all of Nenji's stuff happened now. Natsuno is gone. Which is what happens here. Natsuno disappears between here and 
friend here. So this is where Natsuno will disappear. Does she make a reappearance though? I'm trying to think. So we're seeing this right here is what we're seeing right now. And we'll see Okino go about it. And then this is I, Seki Hearts. You know what? Let's. I'm trying to see, like, I want to see all the scenes that he's been in, but we, I could just easily just go to his thing. Okay, so this is all stuff that we've seen, obviously. Anything past this, the lost memories? Oh, yeah, because A showed, I, Seki Hearts showed up again. Okay, so. Yeah, he's the one that we know the least about what he's been doing. But now I, we kind of have an idea about it, so. Kiriko-san. That rat bastard. He don't go for another fella's girl. Huh? What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Hold on! <laughs> Oh jeez. Ah oh, jeez. Uh, did I just Ah jeez. Did I do that? Bum ba da ba ba bum. Wah. I can't believe you, Hijiyama kun. This is I mean Don't tell me. You were jealous. No shit. I of course not. Is he okay? Are you okay? I'm sorry for hitting him. You can like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Nenji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. <sighs> so, um... False pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. <laughs> I almost feel bad for him. Well, you should. So, that confession was just so you could analyze him, then? Why else would I do it? So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Nenji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm going to have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. What a pain. What changes if you can figure that out? We save the world. Or find a way to do that, at least. Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them and lost. Uh, oop. We need a bigger game changer than one or two Sentinels. That alone's not going to make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> The Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. Yeah. Okay. 
There. We've got a clue. But... I can't access it from this side. Mm. He might be the only one who can. So... Where does that leave us? Up shit creek without a paddle. Oh, what? What the fuck? Okino, what's going on? I looked at Ninji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code. And I have to say, it's been very thought provoking. Untie me this instant. Wh or I swear, I'll. Hmm. What? Oh, maybe this happened afterwards. Why are you getting so worked up now? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us enjoying some quality time, right? I have a feeling this is probably just in his head right what? here. Like this is just some weird dream. Even if that's partially true. Partially true. Things are different now. Untie me before I really get angry. Well, that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? Wah. Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama kun. Stop toying with me! Well? Why don't we see what's really in your heart? I'm interested to know where this spot's taking place. Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? This that's has ridiculous. to be like a dream. I get it. You're lying to yourself. You gay. All to protect your self-image, right? You gay, boy! But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? You're gay. Stop. Wow. This really says Stop it all. Stop it. Stop, please. That damned Okino. Wow, only 28%, huh? Okino straps Hijama to a chair in an abandoned factory and analyzes Hijama's mind. However, Okinawa has already seen inside Hijiwana's brain previously when adjusting code. Okinawa uses this to check Ta Takatoshi's Hijiyama's brains, wherein the headgear shows all of your thoughts and feelings as numerical re readouts. Okay, let's see where this these places because my guess is they took place right okay yeah so that so now all this stuff happened but that one scene did not happen there it happened here so it happens after Okino but why why All right, let's continue sure. on with him. Why not? Okay. <sighs> Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? Yeah. Noodle stir fry. The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged. So the sentinel. This is all I can do is just go to the school. Luckily, his. 
I honestly I like them when they're straight paths. I judge the walking distance right. Well, here I'll say this. It's all technically on straight paths. You can't really... There isn't a path that you can't go to as long as the game lets you go to it. They're like, yeah, no, we, we're showing you that there's another path, but you can't get to it until you do these other paths. So we're technically always still in a straight path, except when it comes to, like, Juros. Because remember, a lot of those ended on Daily Life, which I guess I don't know how you get those, but... Uh. I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. I see. Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Why is there umbrellas in this old no. building if this building's not used? Where is Okino? Ah, here we go. Maybe this will be the same thing as it was up here. It's like, I have to observe all of them first, so. Let's see if that's the case. Now you're feeding a cat. Okino. There you go. What's going on? Why do I feel like this? Aww, yeah, gay, bro. I see you made a friend. Eh, just a stray cat, that's all. I just gave it a little food. Now it shows up here all the time, so... I ended up bringing food for it every day. I suppose I can relate. You used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? <laughs> I didn't ask you to do that. Of course not. I'd better get going. Going where? To class? Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Shintaro? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. Cute kitty. Oh, that was nice. Oh. Oh. There's something under the can. Ah. Probably why he Looks told like me to. Hundred fifty yen. Still trying to look after me? Nah, he just lucked out. Help feed the cat, and now something else. Huh? And now for something completely different. Whoa, she's one of the teachers at the school. Should go somewhere else. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Get the fuck out of there. Isn't she? Who? Oh, Megumi. My yaki soba pun angel. Huh? She doesn't recognize me. How is she your yakisoba yeah, pawn angel? I was a mess when she saw me last. Was it before Wait. you had long hair? If she's a student here, then that means it must be sold here at the school. This is where I can find that yakisoba pawn. My yakisoba pawn angel. All I care about is yaki. So we bond. Oh. There it is. She's almost missed out. They only had two left. Just one left. 
Your finest yakisoba pond, please. <laughs> oh, no doubt about it. Ah, <laughs> ah, this is adorable. My yakisoba pond angel. Oh, damn. It's too much. So hungry. I've got no strength left. I'm gonna die, motherfucker. Like I'll starve to death. <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street, I could find some scraps in the garbage. <sighs> What am I thinking? I am an imperial soldier. The pride of the empire. A son of Japan! Trash like some animal? I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. Holy fuck, dude. You went through a lot of shit in the, like, however I long you were. I find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Excuse me. Um... Are you okay? My yaki silver body. Never better. Was that your stomach? Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. <laughs> It's yakisoba pun. Aww. Yakisoba pun? I, I can have this? If you'd like. I. I suppose I'll take you up on that. This is kind of cute. Megumi being a Yaki goddamn a wonderful person that she is. <laughs> Wars! All my clothes have exploded! <laughs> you know what? Let me rank these characters in pieces of shit. The ones that... Are, the, I'm trying... Gota, I think, is the biggest piece of shit out of the characters I play as, because obvious reasons. Um, Yuki... Uh, she's not... She's kind of, like, in between. She could be in the middle... Either one way or the other. Can't really say. Juro is, I'd say, around that area too. Iori is not an asshole. Megumi is the highest non-asshole. Mi Mira is probably the one right below her. And then Kisaragi is probably down there. And Natsuno is, you know what, Natsuno is right next to Mira. Um, Him, uh, he's somewhere in between as well because of his affiliation with Okino, same with Ogata. I, Sekigahara, you know what, everyone's just, everyone's just kind of in the middle, but the biggest asshole is Gota. And Ryoko, I'd say, is probably the one right below, right below him in terms of, like, like, he's number one and she's number two, but only because I, like... Just the way she acts about with the whole Ida situation, she goes a little cuckoo kachoos. So possibly could. It's delicious. How could anything so delicious ex exist in this world? <laughs> I wanted to savor the taste. This is so good, man. Inhale that whole piece. <laughs> is Yaki Soba Pond really that good? I never even got to thank her. My Yaki Soba Pond Angel. My Yaki Soba Pond Angel. This should be good. 
I can eat in peace here. Still, I can't believe I got the last one. I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. <laughs> I was wondering where you'd run off to. And you? now you're wearing a boy's uniform. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. Now. No. Time to finally enjoy my. Uh. Uh. Now. Uh. Can I not eat with this with him around? You change clothes. Wow, I can feel the disappointment from here. <laughs> Want me to get back into the skirt? Ah, oh, you blushing. I don't care. It's just that the skirt's kind of breezy. Easy breezy. I don't have much on underneath it. Makes me feel pretty exposed, you know? I can't just walk around in the wind and traffic like that. Just think of what could happen. Stop that. You're clearly enjoying this, no matter what you say. <laughs> and you don't have to be so lewd about it. Lewd! You're so lewd, Okino! If we're seen outside, the staff might chase us off the property. Once the afternoon classes are over, we'll head back. You stick around here until then. Do you want half of this yakisoba pan? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Bullshit! Isn't that your favorite food anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Time to eat! Okay, time to dig in. My yucky silver mm. bond angel. Mm. Fantastic. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yaki Soba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Oh? Yes, when? Flashback. Good grief. Yada yada. Yada yada. You're still going to keep trying then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? Oh, this There's was still Ogata. Residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks, help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba pun. <laughs> so much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Wow. Can't argue with that logic. No, you cannot. He's my boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Huh? Nah. Who's there? Oh, oh shit! Female student. This is when you get shot, motherfucker. Out so late. More importantly, what's she doing here? You about to get shot, motherfucker! Wait, have we met somewhere? She's the girl who saved me. Is she looking for She's the Yaki Angel?
Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait. I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite. Uh... I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Yowja! And now she's gonna go shoot. Yaki, soap upon angel. Now she's gonna go shoot Ogata. Why? Oh shit! She's got a gun. The Yaki soap upon angel. Oh, it's the cat. A cute stray cat that Tsukasa Okino takes care of at at Sakura High. He started living on campus when Okino appeared upon him and began to feed him. He's earned quite a few fans at the school. It looks like Fluffy, but there are two different cats. Because Fluffy isn't a cat. Or real. Canned cat food that Tsukasa Okino buys for the stray cat. Shintaro. Shintaro keeps showing up at the Sakaha High School ever since Okino fed him one day, so Okino starts bringing him the canned food for him daily. Okay, so this happened here, and now why did you... Yep, Megumi, so... So it's really only these two scenes. Oh, and then the... We need to see the scene of when... of Hijiyama getting the Yakisoba Pond. Which was right there, the Yakisoba Pond Angel. Jumped right after then, okay. I believe that, were, that was all the scenes that we've seen, okay. Are you fucking kidding me? I need to have eight protagonists with a progress of 80%. And you need everyone at 80%. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I don't know. Was that a lot? Of, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that a lot of story that we did went through? Probably go through all these next time. It's not a lot of story that we went through. I don't want this to be too long of an episode. And I probably don't want only one person to be on the safety, so... It sucks, but I am going to end the part off here, guys, because of that. Um... Well, we finally got to play as him, and now we can't play as him. <laughs> well, actually, that's a lie. That's the wrong notebook. Because now we are going to be going back to playing as Iori, which will be fun. So finally, we'll be we're getting towards end game situation. I feel like because we're getting close. You know, we're at a high percentage of everyone. So it'll be Iori, and we can't do. Takatoshi. Uh, can we do Natsuno though? Yep, we can do Natsuno. Then Megumi, which we can't do until Juro Karabe's event happens. So then it'll be Shu Amagishi. Where are you? And we can continue on with you. Then Aiseki Gahara, which I think he's still. He's blocked until Natsuno, so maybe that'll get unlocked by the time. And then we'll be going to Yuki. But my guess is that event that's keeping Juro locked is there. So then do I go play as Juro or should I keep playing back in the order? Uh, it'll be Kitaro. Which we might get from this because if we get it for I, we'll get it for her. Then Tomo Kisarage. Can't do that yet until we do the second wave 10. Ryoko. Maybe we do her. We can't do... Actually, we can continue on with Neji. And we won't be able to do Gota, so... I'll just have to figure it out. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this part of Let's Play 13 Sentinels. Guys, in the next part, we'll be playing as Iori Fujisaka again.
Can't wait. Honestly, hold on. Where? Okay, so she'll be going on a different route this time. And it'll be the same route where I pick two different foods to get again. We'll see, but I can't wait. So anyway, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you guys liked about the video, didn't like about the video. Let me know what you guys think of. Uh, finally, we got to play as Takatoshi, and now we can't. Uh, man. But anyway, yeah. Uh, let me know. And as well as guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RPG, Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.